you are welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will be solving another problem involving geometrical construction where we are told that construct regular hexagon to the following dimension a 90 millimeter across flat b 95 millimeter across corner so let's start with a first of all both of them are i'll be doing them simultaneously right so first of all both of them are what they are um circular in nature right they are both hexagon so what i'll do is i'm going to take my uh set square my t square and i'm going to draw an horizontal line this way you can see that on that line i'll pick a point let's say i'm picking this point here I'll call it point O. That will be representing my center. Now we are now told across flat, right? 90 minutes across flat. So I'll take half of the measurement, which will be 45. So from here to here is what? It's 45, right? And I'll place it at that point here, at the center point here. You can see that? And I'm going to draw my circle faint line this is the first thing i will do and we are told across flats whenever you are told across flats it means that um you are going to be using your 60 degrees square is that the key? now this is my 60 degrees square here so it means when it's standing this way, it is what? 60 degree. So I'm going to move my set square on my T square this way. And I'll ensure that I'll get to a point whereby the set square is now tangential to the sides of what? Of the circle. You can see it's tangential. Then at that point, I'm going to draw a front line this way. You can see? So the same way I moved it to girl this, I also move it up to to ensure that it is also I'll move it to the extent that it is tangential to the side of the circle too at this point. You can see to the side of what of the circle at this point, and I'll draw again to touch the center line right now i will now turn it this way initially it was facing right now now make it face left this way and i'll move it until it touch the sides of the hexagon or i will say it will now be meeting with this where it must be tangential to the side of the hexagon of the circle so i'm going to draw this can see that i will also move this until it touch the circumference of the circle you can see that and i'll draw this you can see that now the next thing i'm going to do i'll now move my t square to ensure that it is touching the circumference of the circle also since i know i'm going from this point to this point i will now Taking it, you can see that I'll come up again since I know I'm moving from this point to this point. I'm going to what? Taking it, you can see that. Then I'll now replace the rest. I'll take in the rest from here to here. You can very sure it's moving from this point to this point. Right, and it, I'm going from this point to this point. You can see that. And now I'm moving from this point to this point. And from this point to this point. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I see that? So this is what we have here. So this is the hexagon cell. So this will be, let me see, this will be A. Here will be B. Here is C. Here is D. Here is E. Then what? Then F. This is what we have. This is what we call hexagon across flat. Why we call it hexagon across flat? Because of what? Each side of the hexagon is touching the circumference of the circle. You can see side DE is tangential to what? To the circle. Side DC is tangential to the circle. Side BC is tangential to the circle. Side BA is tangential to the circle. And we know hexagon is a polygon that has six equal sides. So this is a regular hexagon. Now the next thing we are told here to do is to draw 95 millimeter across corner. The hexagon should be 95 millimeter across corner. So just like I said earlier, in this case here now we have 95 millimeter and we don't really know the half of 95 millimeter. So half of 95 millimeter will give us 47.5 right so what i'll do is i'll mark a point this way and uh, marking that point on uh, my compass i'm going to measure 95 and 47.5 i'll measure 47.5 so look at what i will do from zero this is 40, this is um, 45, let's do that again, 0, this is 40, this is 45, 46, 47.5 here, in between. Then I'll place it at the center here, right, I'll say center O, and I'm going to draw a circle, point line. You see now with the same measurement of the circle i'll place it where the circle cuts the horizontal line i'll say it should be my point a and what my point b so with the same measurement i'll place it at point b i'll strike up and down the up and down i'll say this is b this will be what i'll call it to be c I'll call it to be what? D. Right? With the same measurement, I put it at point A. I'm going to mark up and down. So I will say that this will be E. And this will be what? F. So this is what we have here. Then I will join those points together. So joining those points together, that means joining point F and A together. This way, joining point E and A together. This way, joining point E and C together. This way, joining point B and C together. This way. Joining point B and D together this way. Joining point D and F together this way. So this is what we have here. Now the difference. Across corner have, this is all these points you see are the corners of the hexagon, right? So corner A is touching the circumference, corner E touching C, B, D, and F. They all corners are touching circumference. That we call it hexagon across corner. Is that okay now? So I can easily just do it this way. Just take my um, third square to touch this way. That means that from this point, straight down to this point is giving us what 90 
millimeter across flat so from here to here and from here to here again as what 90 millimeter across flat why from this corner straight to this corner here is giving us what 95 millimeter across corner we use a slash c for across corner or a slash f for across flat so from this point to this point is giving us what we have there so you can just do your lettering which you can click at the top right corner of the screen here to understand on how to do lettering if you don't know now this is what you have so this is what we are having you write it hexagon 90 millimeter across flat and hexagon 95 millimeter across corner knowing in mind that your value can always change your supervisor or your lecturer or your might tell you 80 or 120 so don't expect the measurements will always be the same it can vary just know the concepts about across flat and across corner so if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video thanks for watching